My name's Sherry and welcome to the City Podcast. It has been a while, a long time, about six months. I've done um, Vlogmas and Marchmas in between, but an actual podcast about six months. Apologies for that. Today's just going to be a short one just to say hello again, really. And um, I was just going to show you, um, it's already, just going to show you some of the things, uh, right? Some of the things that, I'm, uh, that I've made and in the process of making. What do we discuss? Let's see how this is going. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna stop for a minute. Carrots have been administered to two dogs, so hopefully very unprofessional beginning. Excellent start, Sherry. So anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the things I've been making and some of these, if you've seen my podcast before, you will have seen before. Um, I was talking to some friends actually and saying, I'm really slow, I'm really slow. I am slow, I'm a slow knitter, but also I have lots of different things on the go. So I'm knitting or I'm doing some crochet or some embroidery or sewing journaling something so I am slow but also that's my excuse so first thing I wanted to show you are some socks that I actually haven't finished well I've finished knitting them but I haven't finished finished them which the this was some yarn that I got which I'll put it on the screen I decided to do this podcast really quickly I thought well, I'm gonna to have to do a podcast and I haven't got a lot of the details with me so I will put it on the screen but these were my advent socks, which the yarn was oh, a fabulous parcel that uh, lovely Joanne, who is Port Hardy on Hardy one on Instagram, put it up, and she we got talking last year, and. She's lovely, and anyway, she sent me this beautiful little parcel at Christmas time, and this yarn, this Advent yarn, was in it. So that actually made my Christmas doing that, my December knitting those, so they're lovely. As I said, I haven't quite finished them. I've been a bit hectic recently, and I've decided I'm going to finish all my get all my works in progress done before I start anything new. That's not going to happen. I can't even remember if I've showed you these and, and potentially when I did show them to you last time I was at this point. But I found these that I have been in my project bag with my... Oh right, I'm going to have to go and get that for you. This little badge came from um, Hannah Doodle. I must show you a pin cushion that I got from her. Anyway, so these are, now these are um, strawberry curd socks, I believe. This is Marianne, lovely Marianne, who's vanilla wool. I'm not sure what her Instagram is at the moment because uh, she seems to have changed her Instagram two or three times, but it's a really pretty lace design. I have definitely shown you these before. Um, this is from, shh, panting, not okay. This is from, um, that's my dog, that's my dog I'm talking to by the way. Okay, so that should sound particularly weird. Uh, this is my own yarn. <sighs> ladies in Lavender, it's Ladies in Lavender yarn. And there, I'm going to finish them. This actually taxes me, this lace pattern. It's lovely pattern, lovely um, instructions. It's just me, but uh, I'm gonna get those finished. So that's two. I have got lots and lots more on the go actually, but I'm not gonna show you all of them. And then I'm this far, so this is 
Right, so this is the sock club from my lovely friend Kelly. And this is her, um, I think it's Birds and Buds sock club. Look at that. So it's that green, you can just see tiny bits of it in here. How lovely is that? So that's one done. They look really tiny, don't they? Those, that. I'm a size 4 or 5, but that fits perfectly. But it looks teeny tiny when you look at it like that. And on this one, this is my uh, country garden stitch holder. I am up to there, up to the heel, heel flap. So next time, which will be in a month's time, both of those will be finished. That's a little cow parsley, eat knit, sleep repeat, or eat crochet, sleep repeat, or eat embroider, sleep repeat. Um, so sorry, I had to go and get that because there's something I needed to show you. Um, this shows you how distracted I get because six months ago, my needles are clanking away, I started the floozy cardio and truly myrtle, lovely pattern but I just get so distracted, I was so busy in the lead up to Christmas I just didn't have time. Um, this is how far I've got, seriously this is embarrassing but this is how far I've got. And I'm very pleased with what I've done, but that's it guys. So, now that I've shown you that rather embarrassing small amount of knitting, I've got to do some more. But I am enjoying that. I really like the colours actually. I wasn't too sure to begin with. But, ooh, unintentional. That goes quite well. Yeah. So that's my fleecy cardigan. So I've got friends who have finished it on their second, wore it when we met up. That's an example of how slow I am. Anyway, I want to, I was showing you that um this and I had to go and get this because look at this. I'll take this off. I don't need to see that one with my thread in it. This is my little pin cushion. So this is by, uh, she is Hannah Doodle on Instagram. I just love it, absolutely love it. She does all different ones with coffee. Go and have a look, she does the most amazing things. I love that, that goes everywhere with me. Um, just wanted to show you a couple of things actually that I have got from lovely friends. Absolutely no uh, structure to this podcast whatsoever. Looking over there, what I'm going to show you, I'm going to go on to this. So the, this, I have a lovely friend called Carrie who I was actually talking to just before I did this podcast. Um, who she's lovely and we were chatting today and I said to her I'm going to do a podcast and just wanted to show you what she sent me if you've seen my vlogmas my marchmas I've probably shown you this before but look at these she sent me just so pretty and actually I wear these all the time because even though we're not wintry anymore I get cold hands and if this part of you is warm the circulation in your hands apparently is better so I hear so I hear so my mum actually suffers from quite poor circulation in her hands and I'm always telling her that she looks at me with that blank look as well she also sent me these 
still wrapped up as she gave it to me with birds on look and this <sighs> that was a very pretty little package I've got so many lovely things I could show you but I've just picked up a couple of quick things today and this little lady now this is Nancy and this is from I'm sure you will know this is lovely Vivian the green rabbit designs So she sits in my um, sort of sewing room. Um, she's got a little Liberty sewing basket. I am going to make her a chair, but actually the chair is the wrong size for her that I was going to do. But unless you, you've probably seen that you may be lucky enough to have one and you've probably seen these on a picture until you actually get one. Oh, and she also um, sent me a book, which I, which I've got over there to show actually, which um, I use all the time. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I think, I've said this before, there are so many, um, so many talented people out there who do these sorts of things. And what am I trying to say? Almost like, well, they are recognised. I mean, people know how wonderful Vivi's Viv stuff is, but just look at it. I love her ears, flicking back as well. And a little cardigan. Yeah, the, the whole thing is lovely. It's got a good day. No knickers. Right, moving on. God, this is such a ramble. So, I do apologise for this ramble. Note to self, make notes next time, don't just decide to do a party. Um, I've made a blouse. So I made this quite some time ago, actually. Um, I thought I'd wear something that I would make because that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? So this is made from a um, lovely soft cotton lawn. And it is, it's just old pattern that I've had ages. And it's the middle one in red. It's very simple, two hours so. But I live in these kind of tops. I've got one in every single one of these actually, and I live in this. So I enjoy doing this. I've been massively inspired by Amy, lovely Amy, little tailoress, who said to her the other night, she's such an inspiration. She it's the way she puts all of her fabrics together and the way she finishes it and the attention to detail that I love. And I think I'm probably going to get her Emmeline t-shirt pattern. I think it's Emmeline. And have a go at that. And I did make a dress last year and it was an absolute disaster. So that's put me off doing that, actually. We'll see. But anyway, this is nice, really simple. And I've enjoyed it. And it fits. Bit of a tight fit, but it fits. Um, the other things I've been up to, I've been doing lots of watercolour painting lately. You've probably seen a lot of these on sort of coming up on my Instagram, but um, I've been really enjoying getting back into watercolours, which is something that I did a lot when I was younger and sketching. And when my boys were growing up, I was always sketching them and doing little watercolours. Um, so that's something I'm doing. I'm also doing some journaling again. I don't know if anyone else out there loves journaling, but um, bullet journaling. And this takes quite a lot of my time, actually, of an evening, but it's a really nice way of relaxing. I'm not sure too much in here because I've written quite a bit in here, but this is fun to create your own I've got a diary and I've got a planner and what have you, but to create your own is lovely. I didn't paint that, that's a sticker, just to be honest. Okay. And then I just, I keep it, I have trackers so that I can see, like Instagram one, so that I can see. I won't show you that but that's something I've been doing a lot. And look at these, completely changing the subject. These are my William Morris gardening gloves. These were a present from my daughter-in-law 
Amy. Which I hope she's not watching this because she'll be cross because I haven't even taken the thing off yet. It's a bit like stationery. I have to pet them a little while because they're just so lovely. But um, we've got lovely weather now. It's just, well, down in the southwest we have in the UK. It feels properly like summer's on its way now. Really lovely and warm enough to sit outside. And I've been, I should just take it off because I don't like it in my wrist. But I got a Fitbit for Christmas, which is just a fitness tracker. But, um, with another book I need to show you. And I've set this for 10,000 steps a day. And since I've had this, I think when I started, I was probably doing five, 6,000 steps a day because I don't move around a lot during the day. If I'm sitting sewing or dyeing yarn, it's not something that involves huge amounts of movement. So I, I make myself um, go out and walk a couple of times a day. And I'm going to disappear again because I'm going to show you something. So, sorry about that. I had to go and get this book. So this book, which I treated myself to um, a couple of months ago now, The Wild Remedy by Emma, Emma Mitchell. She is Silver Pebble 2, I believe, on Instagram. And it's actually how nature mends us and it's talking about how nature is good for your mental health but it's it's taught me at my ripe old age to notice things more it's lovely throughout this book this book is full of her sketches and her thoughts this is where i'm up to at the moment um nature sketches but yeah, she just teaches, she's just taught me to look around, look around more, which is what I'm doing. So, in getting my 10,000 steps a day, um, oh, like Simon T. This has been instrumental actually, so I have recommended that to lots of people. And that's a lovely book. So, I'm literally just going to show you a few books, a couple of bags, some of the yarns that are going into the store. And that's going to be it for today and some bit of shop news. So if you'd like to stay along and listen to that, that's lovely. But that, there are no more makes. Makes are very light on the ground today because it was just a very quick, hello, here I am again. I've not disappeared completely. So I just wanted to show a couple of the books because so many people have messaged me talking about the fact that they love all these little nature books. Um, and what are they like? So this one actually is one that, don't think I've shown you this before, no I couldn't have done, that Vivian, uh, Green Rabbit Designs, that she sent me. This is a beautiful little book. Um, I think, so people say where do you get them? I, wherever I go, if I visit anywhere, I will always Google is there a bookstore and I will always go and have a look. Um, most charity shops will have a book section. Oxfam have brilliant books. And if not, good old Amazon. If you Google a title on Amazon, um, you'll be able to get that from secondhand sellers on there. So even if you don't have a good bookstore to rummage around, you can find them. Um, as I was saying to somebody the other day, lovely lady Tony that I was talking to, um, I love them if they've got something written in the front. I love the history that comes with them but anyway just sort of show you that one and this one which I am pretty certain I had this when I was younger it's just the book of the British countryside AA I actually got this from National Trust property I'm squinting again and it's just A to Z you know I'm pretty certain I had one of these as a little girl but look at this pages like this Part line, it's got daisies on the front, obviously. So that's sold straight away. But there are pages and pages like that. And I can remember doing my prep when I was younger and copying these things. I know, I'm pretty certain I had this when I was younger. And why I gave it away, I don't know. That one. And this one, which 
I got from another National Trust. National Trust books shops are really good actually. Which is this? Two pound. This is a lovely book. I don't know why I always have to show you, but I love I love book the colours are always lovely. Anyway look, this is this takes you through the year. Um how amazing is that? So that's another lovely one, which actually um, is really useful for doing wildflower embroidery as well. What's in the meadow? So that's that. Sorry, I keep bashing and slapping it. Oh, and this is another one that I got. Just did it again, didn't I? So this one was one fifty. Can't remember where I got that from. Quite recently. Um, that's lovely too. And I got another one the other day, which was called, what was it called? Um, something bird identification, oh, what's it called? Well, anyway, when you've got birds that are really, really similar, how to tell them apart. And I, it turns out the pied wagtail that got in my back garden is actually a white. So my battery cut out then. So I think I was up to this point. If I've shown you this, I apologize. This is the novel that I've just finished reading. Um, I Am, I Am, I Am by Maggie O'Farrell. And this was actually a recommendation on my lovely friend Nikki's Instagram, Nikki at the Cottage on her grid. And actually this has got me back to reading because I read it really quite quickly in about five days, something like that. It's actually 17 Brushes with Death, which sounds a bit grim, but it's not. It's a really lovely read. And I used to read so much when, particularly, so, so I did my, I did a literature degree and I did it when I was older because when I was 18, all I wanted to do was leave school. I didn't want to study anymore. I was a bit of a rebel. I wasn't a rebel. I just didn't want to study anymore, I tell you enough. So I actually did my degree while I was also working full time and I had to read a book and a half, two books a week. And recently, I've been lucky if I've been reading that a month. So this has actually got me back into reading. So I recommend that. It's a really good book. And it's £2 on Amazon, which is even better. I've started getting a lot more of my books from the library, but when it's that price, and we've got a, a book, a sort of a little village down the estuary, and they have a little, um, a few bookshelves. You can just put your book in and get another book out. So I think that's a lovely idea. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I just wanted to show you just a little bit of shop news. Um, and then I've stopped rambling. And I'm really sorry this has been so disjointed. I just sort of thought, I could do a podcast. And I didn't think it through. So I'm not showing any more makes or anything. So I'm just showing things from the shop. So if you've had enough. Thank you for watching. If not, I'll show you some things from the shop. So I've got some bags going in this week. There's a theme, can you tell? Some more, um, well not all wildflowers, but. So this one has, so this is with a pale, pale blue and white polka dot. And this one, it's completely different actually, depending on which side, depending on which side. Got a green lining, and these are really lovely. And they come with a little uh, matching lavender bag, and there's about six of those going into the shop on Friday. And then I'll show you this one, which is um, the reason I'll show you this one. This is a little cow parsley bag, this is a pink Swedish linen with cotton lawn lining cow parsley again. The reason I'm showing you this one and this one, this reminds me of cheesecloth. It's also got a cotton lawn lining is because I'm going to do some embroidery tutorials. I'm self-taught. My embroidery, I, I'm self-taught I have 
a friend who was Royal School of Needlework trained, but I'm not, I'm just self-taught. Things I've picked up, things my friend has taught me. But so many of you have said you'd like some tutorials and that you would like to pick up some embroidery. So I thought it would be fun to do, to use this as an example. It's something that you can draw yourself easily on your fabric and it takes three stitches and I thought it would be fun to do it, kind of like a sew along. So if you are interested in that, I'm going to be doing some tutorials, hopefully next week. I will try and do that next week. Um, it can be done on any fabric you've got. I will be doing it on linen simply because I love it on linen, but hopefully you'll join me. There'll probably be about five of them breaking it down. So yeah, but anyway, it's another little bag going into the shop. And just show you some of the yarns. So this is the cow parsley yarn. So the one that went into the shop first of all was actually Sparkly Stellina. This, these are all, I don't know, one isn't, but most of these are all, this is 75%, 25% um, Super Wash Merino Nylon. Cow Parsley, which I just can't think for it. Yeah, I've got some over there. I've, I come back from a walk just laden with... Um, Wildflowers. I'm pressing them, that's another thing. Pressing wildflowers, I'm really enjoying that. This one, which is a real celebration of blues. If you look at the forget-me-nots and the cornflowers. That's lovely. Actually, it's quite nicely with that too. Nature does colours best, obviously. This one is um, inspired by the humble daisy. I photographed one the other day, which actually we used for the Wildflowers Minis Club. And all the petals of the daisy are tinged with pink. So that's going into the shop Friday. And this is one, if you just wanted to show you because it's lovely. This is Lydia. Um, inspired by Pride and Prejudice. Um, this one's on Sparkly Stellina, 5% Stellina. So anyway, colour this week. So that's all going into the shop on Friday. And the other thing is because I had I had lots of messages come through on Instagram and if you're not following somebody on Instagram, it comes through as a message request. And I used to get notifications of that. For some reason, that's not happening. And I looked on my phone the other day, and I had loads of messages on there. Um, and I replied to all of those that I could, but a couple of them, when I clicked on them, they just seemed to disappear. And I don't, I can't, I don't know where they are. So if I haven't replied to you, I'm, I'm so sorry. If I have replied to you late, I'm really sorry. But I had lots of messages in there asking about the advent calendar. Because originally, last year, we listed the... I say we, if you don't know. Um, because I didn't even introduce myself at the beginning, did I? So I'm an indie yarn dyer. And I, my Etsy store is Sherry Iris. And I obviously sell my bags and yarn on there. But alongside me is my youngest son, Christopher. As I've said before, taller than me, bearded not little, and he he works with me, which is very exciting. He is also a writer and he paints, etc. So we, last year, we had our shop update for the advent calendars, I think it was at the end of June or July, and a couple of people I can remember, I can remember after the advent calendars in January asking and I said that's when we'd have it. Because of the amount of work that goes into the advent calendars and coordinating it and um, we wind all the minis by hand for the advent calendar, it takes an age so we just knew that we had to start earlier. So the main listings for the advent calendar have gone up and they have sold out but this Friday and this was actually a painting that Christopher did which was used for our listing 
Um, and it was painted to kind of give you a flavour of what the advent calendar is going to be like. So it's going to be 24 10 gram minis or 24 20 gram minis. And you also have the, the uh, option to add in a sock set or a sock set and, and hand embroidered bag, which will be a surprise. Um, <coughs> and the theme this year is, it's called A Vintage Your, Your Tide, and the theme this year is, it's like a favourite dress that you've worn and worn and worn, and it's, or a toy that's bashed about and much loved. It's that feeling of um, simple things, treasured items, so that it's not going to be a bright, bold, advent calendar it's a little bit more muted not really exactly shabby chic but along those lines so that is going into the shop this friday the 17th um at eight o'clock which is summertime so i just wanted to let you know that apologies if you are watching this now and it's gone up too soon but this is the last lot that's going into the shop because otherwise we just won't be able to get it out to you in time. It ships at the end of October, beginning of November, depending where in the world you are. Also, if you go on there and you want to buy one and I haven't listed um, where you are in the world, please let me know. Somebody the other day wanted one. She was in Australia and I was mortified that I hadn't added Australia on, so I'm sorry. Anyway, apologies for that massive ramble. Um, the next one will be a little bit more scripted in that I will have notes. The added benefit is you haven't had me squinting down at my notes, so yeah, there's a balance to everything. Anyway, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. Oh, one more thing. Game of, Game of Thrones, I'll talk about that in a second. I, I'll build up to that one. Um, just wanted to let you know what I've been watching. I have been catching up. I do love drama. I have been catching up with um, The Crown. I started watching The Crown um, behind the game, but loving that, loving The Crown. Also, oh, it's not The Bletchley Circle. What is it called? I'm going to put it on the screen, but fantastic drama. Uh, four women who used to work for Bletchley in the war and they're like playing detective really enjoying that also on Netflix um, I have just watched something called Hampstead which is a film set on Hampstead Heath um, involving it's a true life story anyway it's got uh, what's his name he played a mad eye movie in Harry Potter I can't think of his name and something please I can't remember and that's rude of me and oh, Diane Keaton oh I love Diane Keaton anyway that's great and then it popped up if you like that you're like this and I just started watching I think it's called The Bookshop with Ellen, Emily Mortimer that's brilliant really enjoying that too so Quickly, spoiler for Game of Thrones, what's that all about? So, I actually recently gave a bag to a, to a lovely friend for her birthday and we had a bit of a, a laugh because, well, we discussed the fact that I am a mother of dragons, I have a mother of dragons mug, I have three boys, she has three dragons, and we were just sort of talking, she I'm a mother of dragons too, and I actually embroidered mother of dragons on her bag. And now we all know what's happened, so don't know what's going to happen in the last one. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to say too much because I don't know if you know. I don't know where everyone is watching it, but last man standing and all that. <laughs>